Baruchim Habaim. Welcome to our last day of the counting of our Sifriyat HaOmer. Hmm, kind of sad, but it's kind of great that we finally got here, right? And Uri and Mor Deborah are so happy to be with you again and to see you that you're visiting us. We're so happy. And don't forget that tomorrow will be Shavuot, but I hope that you have already viewed some of our videos about Shavuot. Many people do not get to really learn, especially children, about Shavuot because school is out, Jewish day school is out, religious school is out, preschool is kind of on hiatus, and then we have camp, and a lot of times they don't do it at day camp. And overnight camp hasn't started yet, so they don't do it there either. So it's kind of a lost holiday, among other ones. We also have one about love that seems to have lost out to Valentine's Day. So I diverse. Let's get back to mommy's par. What number is this? 49. How do you say it? Be'ivrit? Arba'im u tesha. Arba'im u tesha. 49. It is the 49th day of the counting of the Omer. Those Israelites have been in that Bamidbar in the desert, that hot, hot desert, schlepping everything with them that they have. And they're at the bottom of Mount Sinai. And Moshe, Moses, is going to go up and get the Ten Commandments and everything else that goes with it. So let's find out. We already know that 49 is the neighbor to 50, so it is way down here. But look at all the numbers and 40s that we have been doing. You see that? There's a lot of them, isn't it? And you've learned to read, say them all in Hebrew, but you've read which is awesome, and I bet you know them in English, too. So I'm very proud of you. Let's get, oh, I forgot to ask you. Is 49 even or odd? Yesterday's Mizpar was, yes, Arba'im Shimona, and it was even. So if this was even, that makes this one odd because that's our pattern, even, odd, even, odd. Arba'im va sheish, arba'im va sheva, odd, arba'im va shemona, even, arba'im va tesha, odd. So we will not be counting by twos today, but we have plenty of other misparim to do, right? We will be counting by fives, by tens and by sevens, shava. All right, remember, Uri still doesn't know how to count to 49. So I need your help because I don't like doing things all by myself. I love having you with me. All right. Chat, shtayim, shalosh, arba, hamesh, shava, zip, shimona, tesha, Eser, your sparklers, Eser. Echat Esrei, Shtayim Esrei, Shalosh Esrei, Arba Esrei, Zip. Hamesh Esrei, Sheish Esrei, Sheva Esrei, Shimona Esrei, Tesha Esrei. So now what do we do? It's Esrim, and what do we show? We show our koach, our strength. Yes, Esrim, yay! Esrim, yay! I'm so proud of you that you can count, but you've read in Hebrew all the way to 20. Esrim. Esrim va echat, Esrim va shtayim, Esrim va shalosh, Esrim va arba, Esrim va hamesh, our center of our ribua, of our square. And Esrim va sheish, Esrim va sheva, Esrim va Shimona, Esrim va Tesha. What's next? Echad Shtayim Shalosh, Shaloshim. And we do jumping, right? Kafotz. You ready? Echad Shtayim 
Shaloshim, yay, Shaloshim, woo, Shaloshim, you've made it to 30, Shaloshim, yes, pat yourself on the back, you have done an awesome job. Shaloshim vash echat, Shaloshim un shtayim, Shaloshim vashalosh, that was um, la'ag be'omer, and we had a party and we did all kinds of fun things on the 33rd day of the counting of the Sifriyat Ha'omer. Shaloshim va'arba, shaloshim va'hamesh, zip, shaloshim va'shesh. And remember, we learned that 18 meant chai in Hebrew and the Hebrew letters. And two of those is 36, 18 plus 18. Um, shaloshim v'sheish, shaloshim v'shava, shaloshim v'shamona, shaloshim u-tesha. Arba'i. Are you ready? Get your palms ready so you can cheer with me. Are you ready? Arba'i. 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 Yay! Woo! Yay! Yay! I throw you up in the air. I cheer you on. That's so cool. My palms are adum. They're red with, look at those pretty blue kahol sparkles in them. Very cool, aren't they? All right, so arba'im. And where are we here? Arba'im va'echat. Arba'im u'shtayim. Arba'im um. Shalosh, Arba'im Va'arba, Arba'im Va'hamesh, Arba'im Va'shesh, Arba'im Va'shava, Arba'im Va'shemona, and today's number, Arba'im Utesha, Arba'im Utesha, U Utesha. We have other Mis Parvim. I wanted to point out we have our Tapuchim Adom. We have one there and one here, which is kind of covered by our palms. Adom, Yarok, Yarok. We've done colors too. We've done, we have done purple, Sagol. We have purple around. So what do we count? Because it is an odd number, we're not doing two. So. We're going to do five. So get your etzba'ot. How many etzba'ot do you have al hayad on your hand? Echat shtayim shalosh arba hamesh. How about the other yad? Echat shtayim shalosh arba hamesh. Yeah, five. We have five on each hand. All right, so you ready? We'll do it in English. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, for Shavuot. And then we do it by tens, right? In English again. 10, for the 10 commandments, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, and tomorrow for Shavuot, 50. And last but not least, the hardest one to count that we've been doing by sevens. Shava, look at that. One row, two rows, three rows. Each week, we're seven days, right? And that added up to seven weeks and 49 days. Even 49's crossed off. All right, you ready? Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. Remember, only one set of sevens, that's just one week. But when you add seven more, you, you get 14. Another seven equals 21. Another seven, 28. Another seven, 35. Another seven to, 42, to 35 is 42. Seven more to 42 equals 49. The very last day of the counting of the Omer. It's kind of sad that we're all done with it, but we'll move on to more things that'll be fun too, which is exciting, I think. All right, 
we have our mitzvot. And since tomorrow is going to be Shavuot, it is a joyous occasion. It's a simcha. And if you were in Israel, it'd be even more of a simcha. You could go, well, maybe not this year, but you can, when you go, God willing, you will go to the Kotel, the wall, the last remaining wall, and you will pray. You'll put a little note in and ask God for something or thank God for something, and that'll be awesome. And I hope that when you go, you'll wear Lavon white. Lavon. Woo! Lavon is white. I have prachim that are Lavon. I have, an, I have flowers here, also Lavon. And I hope that you will go outside and look for prahim flowers that are lavan. I know I've seen a lot here and on one of our Shavuot videos, if the rain ever goes away, I'm gonna go out and take pictures of all the beautiful white flowers that I see now. And maybe all summer you'll notice more white flowers showing up. Very nice to see. All right, so remember to be happy, Sameach. And I've been so happy making these videos for you guys. I wish I could have made them with you rather than just for you. And Simcha. Simcha is a happy occasion. And we have that blessing that we say, the Shecheche Yanu, when we have a, a happy occasion. But we have a lot of other brachot that we have too. And let's see, how else do you hit the mark? The mark in this right here is red. It's a dome, the center. On here, it's 25, and it is kahol, blue. But this center is a dome, red. So how do you hit the mark? One way to hit the mark is to use your kind words. And the Hebrew word for kindness, is it's also a mitzvah, chesed. You do the mitzvah of chesed, and that's very important. Let's see, what else do we have in review? Because instead of adding a new one, we just have been talking about things that we can do that we've been practicing. We want to continue practicing them, right? So <clears throat> you can hit the mark by having a lev tov, a good heart, where again, you use chesed. So both of them, you would use your derech eretz, that's something you say thank you and please. I can't express that enough. It's so important to use chesed, kindness, and your derech eretz, your good manners. When you listen to somebody and you hear what they're saying, use your oznaim. We have two, right? One ozen, two oznaim. It's so important to listen. Even little children. I've learned so much from little children because everybody has a different perspective. And you might be out walking and they might say, oh, look at that, and you didn't even know about it. You were looking at something else, and then you can say, oh, I love what you showed me, and look at this, this is what I was looking at. Then you get double, right? You get to see two wonderful things. That's awesome. Like yesterday, I saw those squirrels playing in our on our patio, running back and forth and chasing each other, <laughs> and I kinda, kept looking at them, but that's okay. This is the Omer. I'm listening and having a lev tov and using your kind words. Very good. That's a good way to hit the mark. Another two that we talked about was friendship. Friendship with your siblings or friends at school that you meet. This is Ahavat Yisrael. This was for Israel's Independence Day that we talked about Israel all week. This is the flag, the Degel by Yisrael, and this is the Degel by America. And here's the Hebrew way to spell Israel, Yisrael. And we talked about friendship. How do we show our friends that we're friends with them, that they're important to us? by supporting them. That's what America and Israel do on a different kind of scale than we do for just each other. But it doesn't matter. As long as you show your friends, the sign for friends, right? As long as you show them 
that you're listening and that you support them like good job you did a great job with that or anything like that anything positive that makes them feel good will make you feel good too and our last one which is part of the ton commandments that we'll talk about with Shavuot videos helping your parents it's kavod ima va'aba and kavod abba va'ima it's in there twice and it says it both ways because they're equal partners in in your mind, in your heart, we hope. And there are many different ways we've spoken about how to do that. Again, use your old nine to listen, right? When you're asked to do something by your parents, do it. Um, when you see that maybe one of them needs your help, use that lave tov that good heart and go and ask if you can help there's so many ways you can help even when you're little so we have all of this ideas too those are our mips vote that we've um, been talking about over the first six weeks and this week we've just been reviewing them because remember the best way to get better at something is practice 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 whether it's your mis parim or your mitzvot. We don't get better at things if we don't practice them. So keep it up. Even though you're not coming back here for the next day, you can always come back and review them because they're on video just for you. And we are going to do our next thing will be our tepuchim. We're going to add an account how many tepuchim. So we're looking for 49, right? Arba'im Vatesha. Here is where we will sit down and count our tapuchim. Tapuach Adom and Aleph. The leaf is, yes, your rope. Very good. All right. Here is my great big bin of tapuchim. I have your rope. And I have Tepuchim Adom. And if you remember, I said they were filled to the brim. That means to the top. So let's start. Achat. I think I have to fix this just a little bit. There, now I think you'll be able to see. Achat. Count with me, please. Shtayim. Shalosh. Katan, Shalosh, Arba, Hamesh, Shesh, Shava, Shamona, Oops, Tasha. What do we do next? Eser, Ten. We have our first ten, and we will push those off to the side, where they roll all over. Essay, right? A hot esray. Shtayim esray. Shalosh esray. Harba esray. Katan, arba esray. Hamesh esray. Sheish esray. Sheva esray. Shemona Esray and Tasha Esray. Esreem, show me your koach. Esreem, your strength. Esreem. And we're going to push those off to the other side. Esreem va echat. Esreem va shtayim. Esrim va shalosh, esrim va chachtaim shalosh, arba, esrim va hamish, I'm little, I'm katan, esrim va shesh, I'm gadol, chachtaim shalosh, arba, hamish, shesh, just checking, esrim va shava, esrim va shemona, Esrim va tesha. Shaloshim. Yay! Shaloshim. 
30. And this is where I part it like the Sea of Reeds. All right. Shaloshim Vachat. Shaloshim Ooh, ooh, it's a big one. Shaloshim Ooh, God. Um, Chachtaim. <laughs> Um, shaloshim va shalosh, shaloshim va arba, shaloshim va hamesh, shaloshim va hamesh, sheish, shaloshim va shava, katan, shava, shaloshim va, let's see. Shaba Shimona Shaloshim Va Tesha U Tesha Shaloshim U U Tesha And what comes after Shaloshim? Echat Shtaim Shalosh Arba Arbaim Woo Arbaim Woo Arbaim Yay And again we will part these like the Sea of Reeds and there they are. Arbaim va echat. Arbaim ushtaim akatan. Ushtaim. Arbaim va shalosh. Arbaim shalosh. Va arba. Arbaim. Arbaim va hamesh. Arbaim the whoops sheesh katan again katan gum a katan it's also small a hatch time shalosh bahame sheeshava arbaim the shava arbaim the shimona arbaim ooh tasha oh ah that's today's day arbaim the Utesha, Arbaim Utesha, that's today's number, 49. And that is the end of our seven weeks of counting the Omer. And look, I still have some Tepuchim. So we know that in this tub, it holds more than 49 Tepuchim. I don't know how many more, but I'm not going to count them. I'm just going to put them back in the bin and be all done with the Omer, just like you. So, it has been a pleasure to be with all of you and to do these videos for you. And I hope that you come back next year and view them again. Because, you know, Shavuot comes every year. Not always at the same time on the American calendar. But nevertheless, it comes every year. And we know that it is the holiday of the... Yes, the weeks. We have Yamim, the days that we count, and we have the weeks that we add up to get to Mount Sinai. And it starts right after Passover, after the first Seder of Passover. And it ends 49 days later. We know that. And it ends with what holiday? Shavuot, the holiday of the counting of the weeks, right? What else did we learn? We talked about colors. We talked about misparim. We did a, a lot of addition. We did a lot of counting. And you guys did a really nice job learning. I'm so proud of you. So we always end with Yom Sababa. Have an awesome day. And may your whole summer, Kaitz, may your whole summer be Tov Ma'od. Very good.